Paris. The metro is filled up. But after all, why should it be deserted? They're saying to themselves, provided that the civilians hold out. Oh well, they seem to be holding out. Strategic apparatus. But for heaven's sake, what are they waiting for out there? Why don't they break through? What are they waiting for? It's disgusting to see on the boulevards the groups of people having such a good time. on Lee feels himself an outsider. He wanders in this town like a stranger and tells himself, I would like to be in their place. And at the same time, he is very proud not to be in their place. It's amazing how the clothes have changed. Skirts are shorter. And the women seem to have a bolder air, which is very becoming. Business is good, morale is good, bravo. Then what? One has only to put oneself in their place. I have two godmothers of war and eight days to live thinking of something else. Eight days to think about something else. Eight days of peace. Second Christmas of the war. Everyone speaks of peace. Everyone wants it. Everyone expects it. But everyone expects it in victory. And no decisive victory is in sight. The Allied offensives have failed. The heroism of the fighters have served for nothing. The Germans still occupy a quarter of France. They've beaten the Russians, conquered Poland, crushed the Serbs. And so the war continues. There is no reason for it to end. 